the Ukrainian armed forces are reportedly facing significant losses in the Sudza area of Russia's Kursk region, according to Apti Alaudinov, commander of the Ahmad Special Forces. Speaking to RIA Novosti, Alaudinov revealed that his forces inflicted heavy damage on Ukrainian troops during recent combat operations. Well, the situation here is generally work-oriented. Of course, to say that everything is perfect and beautiful, that's not the case either. Yes, there are many work-related issues. The enemy tries to push through daily, though in recent days they've really suffered very heavy losses. Specifically in our Sosta direction, you could say they've even quieted down a bit. At the same time, if we talk about the Koronev direction, meaning further down our front, it looks like the enemy has been actively trying to push through these last few days to distract and halt our offensive forces, which just liberated around 10 settlements. Meanwhile, other units of ours are slowly advancing, liberating one settlement at a time. Overall, it's a working atmosphere where we are steadily pushing the enemy back, destroying them, and in the end making it clear that, no matter what, they won't be able to hold out here for long. In the same region, the tactical group of the Akmat Battalion claimed to have advanced the front line by 1.5 kilometers over five days, bringing it closer to the border. Commander by the name Kashtan reported the deaths of about 120 Ukrainian soldiers during this push. Well, it's roughly around seven kilometers wide and about 1.5 kilometers deep in the direction. This is the area occupied by the enemy, so to speak, on this particular section that you've now liberated. Over these seven kilometers, how long did the enemy resist? Was it a network of strongholds, correct? Yes, there were strongholds. But there were also moments when they didn't have time to dig in. They had groups of eight people in large numbers. They were working in different directions, but slowly, we identified them, pressed them, and wiped them out. How about the size of the unit? How many were eliminated, right? Well, to be precise, about 120 or so. Meanwhile, in central Ukraine, a devastating Russian missile strike on Kriviri claimed the lives of a 12-year-old boy and two elderly women. The attack occurred overnight, as the city, located just over 40 miles from the front lines, slept. Three others were injured and taken to hospital, with buildings severely damaged. Krivy Ri, a crucial steel production hub, has been a frequent target in the ongoing conflict. In southwestern Russia's Krasnodar region, an ammunition depot and missile storage site caught fire following an attack, leading to evacuations as continuous explosions rocked the area. Videos posted on social media showed bright orange clouds lighting up the night sky, with repeated detonations heard in the distance. Russia's defense ministry reported early Saturday that its air defenses intercepted 101 Ukrainian drones overnight, targeting Russian territory and the annexed Crimean Peninsula.